Fifteen sailors taking part in the 1979 fast net race died when storms ripped through the fleet of 303 yachts, which had sailed from Cowes a few days earlier. They were en route to the Fastnet Lighthouse, the most southerly point of Ireland, when the storm hit. Only 85 yachts were to finish the race. Five sank and 19 were abandoned. But one man who survived the ordeal has now been reunited with the rescuer who saved his life. Yes, Nick Ward had been left for dead when his yacht capsized, killing two members of the crew. Well, our reporter Richard Slees in Weymouth now, where the yacht Grimalkin is now berthed. Richard. Yes, Fred, well, this is the Grimalkin here behind me, and considering what happened to her 28 years ago, she really shouldn't be here. She should be languishing at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Many times she capsized, the final time, unfortunately, killing two of her crew members and leaving Nick Ward hanging on for dear life. Well, today he had a very emotional reunion. Nick Ward welcomes the man who saved his life, Commander Harry Harrison, the man who was winched down from a seeking helicopter onto his stricken yacht. I'd like to say you haven't changed a bit, but you have. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> decidedly grey. This is the first time that Commander Harrison has seen the Grimalkin since that dramatic rescue 28 years ago. In 1979, midshipman Harrison was a Navy rookie just three weeks into his service on a seeking helicopter when he faced the biggest challenge of his life. This is the pilot's eye view of the Grimalkin at sea. Below him are two men, Jerry Winks, who died a few hours earlier, and Nick Ward, who'd been left for dead by the rest of the crew who'd abandoned ship in the life raft. If it weren't for Jerry, my, my crewmate, who died in my arms, I don't think I'd be here because I used him as a, a sounding board. And, and basically was able to tap reserves that otherwise I don't think I could have got to. Did you think help was at hand? I knew that there was some form of operation going on, but I had no means of communication. The helicopter circled and I saw a crewman at the door and I just felt elation. I started crying, I think. Within a few minutes, Harry Harrison had been winched down to the yacht and this is the moment that Nick was pulled into the helicopter. Once you're on the wire and out of the aircraft, you're literally the dope on the rope and um, the yacht was full of water and so I um, used the rescue strop to, to lift first of all Jerry, who I now know is Jerry, off the yacht um, and then when he was clear the strop came back down and uh, I connected Nick and we were lifted off. All of this in pretty heavy seas? Yes, huge, huge seas, um, which I'm not good at. Um, I was feeling decidedly ill by the time I'd been on board for about five minutes. And how do you feel about being back on the yacht today? Um, I'm surprised how small it is. Um, but it, it, it is very good to see that she's still sailing. Nick has now written a book about his survival called Left for Dead. He doesn't blame his crewmates for abandoning him, but it has taken him many years to come to terms with what happened. Well, I'm now able to talk to, to you, to, to Commander Harrison, uh, to my wife, to my family, not that I do often, but I'm able to talk to them now without bursting into tears, which was uh, normally the reaction I would have. Richard, tell us some more about what it was like for Nick Ward today. Well, it has been a very emotional day for Nick because he was very nervous about meeting Harry again, but he felt it was something he really had to do because for 28 years he's been bottling all this up and it's only really been in the last two or three years since he's been writing his book that he's really come to terms with what happened to him all that time ago. And I think he realises now he's one of the lucky ones. He's here to tell his tale. Of course, 15 sailors didn't come back from that race. But Richard, after an appalling experience like that, is sailing something he can possibly still enjoy? Well, Nick is still very much involved in yachting. He does run a sailing-based business in Hamble, so he's very much in touch with what goes on in the yachting world, and he has stayed in touch with what's happened to this yacht. It's had many owners over the last uh, 28, 29 years, but he does get a chance occasionally to sail in her, and he thoroughly enjoyed his trip out in the boat today.